We have a colorful week full of planetary transits. We have a bunch going on this week. No sign changes this week, surprisingly. We're getting those back to back to back as March opened up. And this week we're ending March with no planets changing signs for the moment. Mercury will make the most alignments this week, which will be mixed bag, which will allow us to work on our thought processes, communication issues, and how we socialize. Venus will be secondary in terms of making most of the transits this week, which will help us focus on our love life and financial situations. And we have a few Mars transits, which could cause us to feel a little bit risky in the beginning of the week, but later on try to channel our energy into something constructive. And if you're watching this on YouTube, the vibes on the graph are absolutely bonkers. This is probably the first graph I've ever looked at that has absolutely every single vibe on it. Generally, it's an even distribution. Sometimes we have a little bit less, sometimes we have a little bit more. This one has every single vibe that you can possibly imagine. We have romantic vibes. We have emotional sensitivity. We have imagination and confusion. We have social vibes. We have solitude. We have good luck energy. We have psychic vibes and mental vibes as well. All of these energies are intersecting one another, making for a very colorful week. Like I was saying, we've got a wide variety of transits with Mercury and Venus being the dominant players this week. We're gonna run into the mental and romantic stuff, but because of the connections they're making, there could be moments of confusion. There could be moments of emotional sensitivity throughout this week. You could have moments where psychic abilities are more heightened than typical. There will definitely be moments where we feel conflicted when it comes down to being social versus taking some time to ourselves. So we could feel pulled in many different directions as a result of that. There's also going to be some foggy moments throughout this week, especially from the 28th all the way up until the 29th with some of the Neptune stuff connecting with Mercury. We could have moments of not feeling absolutely clear, which is causing us to want to have some space to ourselves. The emotional sensitivity is here will cause us to have moments where we're feeling more triggered than normal throughout this week. That happens from the 28th all the way up until about the 31st. We've got the romantic vibes peaking and valleying throughout the week from the 27th all the way to the 28th. Then it picks back up on the 29th all the way up until the 2nd. So our focus will absolutely go on romantic things and fixing things within our love life. And we have the steady stream of good luck energy from the 27th all the way up until the 1st, which should help us take some risk and go after some opportunities that may be fortunate for us. So yeah, this is absolutely a colorful week for sure. Let's look at the next bunch of days and see what we can expect. As a reminder, don't forget to like and subscribe because it helps this channel grow. And if you'd like to support the work of this channel, you could do so by buying me a fresh cup of coffee. There's a link in the description box below. This week opens up with Mercury transits. Mercury is going to make a semi-sextile Uranus and a semi-square to Saturn. We've been getting this alignment over the last couple of weeks as Mercury is moving forward. The position that Mercury is in is separating from both of these planets. And before it does, we're going to get this semi-sextile from Uranus and we're going to get that semi-square with Saturn. But these two alignments can be edgy communication-wise. So this is why we're having some of those weird energies on the graph. So Monday could feel like a day where communication is a bit out of whack, especially with the Mercury Mercury semi-sextile Uranus situation. This could be one of those days where someone might be saying something shocking. This could be a day of saying the thing that nobody else will say and it makes everybody else uncomfortable because a lot of the times that's what happens with Mercury and Uranus situations. It's, it's sometimes it's okay, sometimes it's welcome, sometimes it's not welcome. This is one of those situations where that saying that thing may not be welcome. People may not be as, as receptive to it as you would like. So it may not go so smoothly. This is also one of those alignments where communication comes at a surprise, meaning basically sometimes we get surprise, shocking communication from people. A lot of times when it's a harder alignment, it's people that we generally don't really want to talk to for whatever reason. It doesn't have to be chaotic or dramatic. It could just be that we may not be in the mood to deal with that person's energy at the moment. So this could make the air uncomfortable. On top of that, you've got Mercury making that semi square with Saturn, and this is prompting that need to be alone with your thoughts. This is prompting that need to have some space from other people. Sometimes you just don't want to talk to people and then you got that Mercury Uranus situation going on. So this could be a day where you're really just wanting to stick to yourself. This could be a day where you're feeling like you need to process your own thoughts and your feelings and emotions and it's not necessarily working out the way you'd like it to because instead of focusing on the positive, your mind might be leaning towards the negative more than anything. Also communication wise, this could be a day where if we're reaching out to other people, they may have an icy tone or we may not necessarily get a response back until maybe later on or whenever because they may be feeling this alignment themselves and they're just not receptive to other people or communication. At least we get a Mercury transit that actually is comfortable when we get to the 28th. The 28th, Mercury makes a conjunction with Jupiter, which is amazing for having philosophical chats. 
It's great for feeling like your social self again. It's lovely for making plans with others and overall just getting back into an upbeat mood. And so all that motivation and enthusiasm that was zapped from the day prior, we could feel like our enthusiasm is coming back. We could feel optimistic. We could feel optimistic about the future and the options we have in front of us. So this could be a day where we have restored hope back in the things that we didn't feel hopeful about maybe a day prior. This is also a lovely alignment for learning new things. So if there are subjects that you're studying right right now. This may be a day where you're feeling intellectually sharp and you're able to absorb the materials better. You could be dealing with a situation where you're having to blend your left brain with right brain approaches. And this is one of those alignments where they work together well. It's a lovely pairing for being able to blend both types of intelligence. Also, this is great for smoothing things over. This is great for a smooth recovery. If you've had any issues from the day prior in terms of communication, people tend to be more receptive. People tend to come back communication wise in terms of being more responsive. And and also good for diffusing drama if there was any drama from the day prior. Overall, it's just a fun and energizing transit. And on that same day, speaking of energy, Mars is making a semi-square with Uranus. So even though this is a complex alignment and it can have its difficulties, the good thing with this is we will feel energized. We will feel like going out and having fun. We'll feel less restricted in terms of the things that we want to do. It could cause us to be more bold and daring and take considerable risks that we normally don't take. So this helps us shake things up in our world. This helps us take action so that we get out of our comfort zone and break out stale periods. At the same time, this is a very reckless energy. So we could have moments where we're doing silly things. We're doing things that are a little bit juvenile, immature, or just overall just not good for us. And it could result in being accident prone. So we want to make sure that we're paying attention to what we're doing. There's a clumsy air to this because it's very impulsive and we tend to rush in as a result. Also, we could be bored and it could cause us to be somewhat disruptive. This could also be disruptive in terms of temperament and temper can come out in a very shocking way within this energy. So it's something else that we have to be aware of when this is popping up. Hopefully the Mercury stuff, the Mercury Jupiter stuff is helping us get through the day. But because it's such an enthusiastic vibe and this in itself is high octane as fuck, we can have a day where we're a little bit more loose than normal. But have fun and just be mindful of doing things that are just out of control. On the 29th, Venus is going to make a semi-sextile with Chiron. So a Venus-Chiron alignment like this shows us the importance of not breaking our own hearts. In other words, there could be things that we're doing that's causing us a lot of pain, love life wise, financially or career wise. And so this gives us that nudge needed to start working through those things, working on healing those things so that we're not putting ourselves in these positions where we're chronically disappointed, chronically sad because either we're pouring our energy into a toxic relationship that's not giving us anything back. There's no return on investment within this relationship. Be repeating cycles when it comes down to the way we spend our money that's causing a lot of havoc and a lot of stress on us that we absolutely need to heal. Or it could be a situation with a job where we're not happy, but we're putting ourselves through it. And obviously you can't just leave jobs. You have to do what you have to do. You have to pay your bills. You have to do all of that. At the same time, we might not be looking at other opportunities. So that way we can move forward and transition out of that job. So this could be a day of getting that nudge needed so that you start making those moves. Not saying that you're gonna do that that day. As I always say, when these harder transits come up, especially stuff like this, it doesn't miraculously just stop things that are going on your life. This is one of those alignments that gives that extra nudge needed. So that way you're taking action on these things. So that way down the line, you can heal and be happy. Luckily, the next day on the 30th, Mars is making a trine with Saturn, which can be helpful in taking construction action on our long-term goals. So this could be a day where we're feeling energized to actually make things happen for ourselves. Even though this is a trine and trines are easy energy, Mars is about taking action and Saturn is about tangibility and putting things out into the real world and manifesting them into the real world. And although it's in Pisces and Mars is in Cancer, we could still find ourselves taking some actions that help us in the long run in terms of our aspirations. With a transit like this, it encourages to act in a way that creates a stable foundation within our lives. That way we can have stability. That way we can have improved circumstances and situations. This alignment helps us keep our eye on the prize. We're able to maintain focus on whatever we're trying to achieve. And it becomes very important for us to not squander our energy on things that are wasting our time. So if something's been holding us up, if something has been not giving us a return on investment, we could find ourselves cutting those things out on that day and focusing on what's giving us the gratification and the resources we absolutely need. And not like instant gratification. Gratification from working really hard on something and you're starting to see the fruits of your labor. And under this influence, we can feel like we're pushing through obstacles 
and seeing a victory on the things that we've tried to achieve. The 30th continues to be the day that keeps on giving with a Venus Uranus conjunction. Venus is going to conjunct Uranus and this is going to be amazing for shaking things up in our love lives on a healthy level and also financial situations. So if you've been looking for a healthy way to get out of a rut when it comes down to your romantic life, your financial situations, or anything to do with your self-worth, anything to do with self-esteem, anything to do with resources, this alignment is excellent for helping with that. Love life wise, if you've been in a rut, this is great for initiating someone that gets you out of that and gets you moving again, gets you putting yourself out there again. This could be excellent for meeting someone you suddenly have a connection with or opening your options up and looking at the alternatives in your love life, going after people that you normally don't go after if you're single, or coming to a conclusion that you're just going to be fun and hang loose in your love life. And whatever happens, happens. Maybe you might come to a conclusion that you're not wanting to be attached to anyone and you just want to have fun and meet new people. For those in a committed union, this could be a time where you are finding adventurous things to do with one another. This could be a time where you're shaking things up and going on different types of dates or being experimental when it comes down to intimacy and having a lot of fun with that. And Experimental doesn't have to be crazy. It could just be trying some new positions and things of that nature. But this is really great for being adventurous in your committed union and just doing some new things, going out to new places, exploring new venues, and doing something exhilarating when it comes to intimacy. When it comes down to financial situations, this could be a time where you're suddenly either hearing back from a place that you've applied for, or suddenly it feels like something's breaking through in terms of a job rut or in terms of promotion. This also has a very lucky quality to it. One of the reasons why we were seeing some of that fortunate energy, the good luck energy, with some of the Jupiter stuff, but also this Venus Uranus conjunction situation, sometimes it has a way of bringing in surprise money. If this was Jupiter here, that would be more expanded than Venus, but this does bring in some surprises in terms of that. It doesn't mean that someone's winning the lottery. It doesn't mean that, you know, all of a sudden you gamble and you win a lot of money. It could be money being returned to you or just unexpected, a little bit extra that you didn't expect, like a bonus and things like that. So something like that can occur as a result of an alignment like this. As we move into April 1st, some of the alignments might create a sense of fog and also a bit of recklessness. But at the same time, there are some fun elements to a lot of this reckless energy, this careless energy. Mercury is going to make a semi-sextile with Neptune. This is not the fun one. This is the one that creates the fog. So we may feel impaired in terms of our judgment when it comes down to certain things. This could be a day where we're more hazier than normal. This could be a day where we're just blowing certain things off. We're blowing off important details of a situation or important facts of a situation because we're just wanting to have fun and ignore the serious stuff that might be occurring around us. So even if something's inconvenient, try not to ignore it because it could be something important that we need to deal with, need to address. It could deal with people, meaning it could deal with people that we shouldn't be giving the benefit of the doubt to because we can't be bothered with either using our discretion and things like that. So it can be problematic as a result. On top of that, Venus is going to be in a semi-square with Mars, which this is great and it's fun romantically. This is great for having intimacy that's off the charts. This is great for having makeup sex. This is great for seeking thrills and enjoying your yourself and being social, but it can also be quite dramatic relationship wise. So if you're in a healthy relationship, yeah, this may rev up a little bit of drama, but not too much. If you're in an unhealthy situation, this can rev up the dysfunction in that situation and bring out the more toxic attributes of that relationship. If you're not in a relationship, you could be in thrill seeking mode and meeting new people, which is fun and perfectly fine. At the same time with that Mercury semi sextile Neptune situation, you want to make sure you're paying attention to someone's intention and you're not missing any cues or red flaggy behavior that shouldn't be ignored. On top of that, Jupiter and Venus are connecting. Venus is going to be making a semi-sextile to Jupiter, which could also inflate over the top situations when it comes down to our love life and finances. This could be a day where we feel like a bit of a shopaholic. This could be a day where we're overdoing it when it comes to indulgences. This could be a day where we're just, we could be over the top with everything with an energy like this. So romantically, this could be over the top displays of affection or needing more attention than someone can give. I mean, it's a fun energy, so we will want to go out, we'll want to be social, we'll want to make this a Sunday fun day, or just a weekend filled with crazy antics overall, which is always nice, because we can use the break and we could use some adventure at the same time with some of these. So even though it has some interesting qualities to it, at least we'll be upbeat about things. 
So use all of these energies to have fun, enjoy yourself, go out and let off some steam by letting your hair down. But try to be mindful of some of the stuff that's going on because again, this energy is very mixed baggy and some of the lower vibrations of these transits for the next couple of days over the weekend can lead to stressful situations when they're not paid attention to. Anyway, I hope you all have the best week ever. Later and see you in the next episode.